Hey everybody, JCSB here. This is episode 30 of our Minecraft Let's Play. 30 episodes already, guys. That's pretty insane. I'm loving it. And uh, we gotta be very quiet. I'm trying to sneak up on this cow. Alright. Attack! Come here, cow. Okay, so in all seriousness... Yes, we got some milk. See how greedy this cow is, or how generous. No, I don't want water. No, stop picking up water. Yes, you gave me another bucket of milk. Alright, come on, be nice. One more. Yes! Yes, we did it. <laughs> we got three buckets of milk, you guys. So, uh, if you haven't already guessed it, today we are going to be baking a cake. Or as I like to say it, building a cake. <laughs> just sounds more appropriate to me so yeah episode 30 and as I promised last episode we are going to be baking a cake today so let me just show you the small minor change I made to my dock this was suggested that I put wooden stairs here instead of half stone slabs and I do think that looks a lot nicer so that's the deal with the dock so um, for a cake, you need a couple of things. First things first, I'm going to take a bone and make up some bone meal. And I need to go grab a hoe. That way I can till the ground. I can't wait to see the comments on that one. Hi, spider. <laughs> okay, so do I already have a hoe prepared? Let's see. Should we make a diamond hoe? <laughs> no, that's not necessary. Okay, cobblestone. And there we go. A hoe. Or as Etho likes to call it, your mom. I think that's the best way to call this uh, tool here. I always laugh when he calls it that. I think that's so funny. Okay, so uh, with hoe in hand, we are going to just till three pieces of soil here. Plant three seeds and with the power of bone meal, voila, three crops. And now we can just let that change back into regular uh, sand, or er, <laughs> dirt. So the next uh, instructional part is not very difficult. Here's a tutorial on how to grow reeds. So you let the reeds grow, and then you go and you harvest them. And then you can put them up in your crafting square here. And it creates sugar, this nice little white uh, speck of sugar. Now we're going to need two for the cake. So we've got three pieces of wheat, two sugar, three buckets of milk, and the last thing is an egg. Now, the best way that I have found to get an egg if you don't have, like, a friendly mob system, a lot of people that have friendly mob systems can just, you know, uh, the chickens that they capture in their trap just produce a lot of eggs. But unfortunately, I don't have one of those, so uh, let me tell you guys the way that I get eggs. What I do is I walk around here uh, and look for a chicken that's just chilling out. And what you want to try to do is push him into a one wide, two deep hole. He won't be able to fly out if it's too deep. So let me see if I can find one and give you a little demonstration here. So let me climb up here. Let's see, I see a pig. But I don't need a pig right now. I really could use a chicken. There was a whole bunch of them out here. Alright, perfect. There's one. So, come here, chicken. Now, this is the difficult part, trying to get them over. What I was doing earlier today, it was really funny. I was using the fishing rod. Now, what you do is you capture the chicken on the fishing rod. And then you pull them into the hole. Uh, like, you reel the fishing rod in. So yeah, that's the deal with that. But anyways, once he's in the too deep hole, after five minutes or so, he will lay an egg. Or I guess if it's laying an egg, it's a she. She will lay an egg. And you know, there you go, you got an egg. It makes a nice pop sound when they lay an egg, so uh, you'll definitely know when it happens. So now for the final task is to craft it. Now this is the part that I'm not too sure of. I know you put two sugar there and an egg, the three buckets of milk at the top, and it should be three pieces of wheat at the bottom. Yup, there we go, birthday cake. 
achievement get the lie. And now you might be wondering, whose birthday is it? Well, yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, uh, was Doc M77's birthday. Uh, I'm a big fan of Doc M. I think his new Minecraft World Tour is amazing. Love his videos. And he turned 34. So this cake is in honor of Doc M77. So where are we going to put it? Uh, well, I guess since he is like the mob master, him and Etho are, we should probably put it near the mob grinder, right? How about right here near the collection point? Nice. So, Doc, uh, we're going to take a bite of the cake. And we can't. That kind of stinks. That was a fail. But this birthday cake is for Doc M77. And I actually got an extremely funny suggestion from someone. They told me to name the Doc out here, my boat Doc. They told me to name it Doc M's Doc. I thought that was awesome. So this is this Doc is dedicated to Doc M seventy seven also. That was such a funny suggestion. It might not sound funny when I say it, but I was laughing like crazy. Alright, so we are six minutes into the episode. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I didn't plan for what to do next, but I do have something I wanna talk about. As many of you probably know, I have told you guys that I want to do some sort of challenge for when I hit 300 subscribers. Now, at the moment, I'm just over 280, so it is fast approaching. But what this is what I had in mind for the challenge. So I would have everyone, anyone who wants to participate, you have to be subscribed to me. Uh, I don't think that's too harsh of a condition. Most of you that watch my videos are subscribed to me anyways, so you've already got that challenge completed. Anyways, if you're subscribed to me, then you can build the coolest house, desi house design that you can think of. It can be an underground cave house, an above ground house, a castle, a mega mansion, a small hut, anything you want. Just has, I'm basically looking for beauty here like looks aesthetics I want it to look awesome and you can show me the house in one of two ways you can either make a video touring it if you are capable of making YouTube videos or you can build it on a public multiplayer server and I'll come on and tour it now I'm gonna pick I think four finalists I'll do that on my own and then the four finalists will come on my friend's server. Uh, my friend Tan the Man MC. Hi, skeletons. Sorry about your death. Rest in peace. That's what you get for shooting me, though. Anyways, uh, we'll go on my friend Tan the Man MC server. He's got a small little private server that he hosts, and I'm on there a lot. So they will come. On, you guys will come on, and then we'll have a cool building contest. Like you guys can create any sort of cool building that you want. And then I will make a special 300 subscriber video. I will go and show you guys the four finalists' buildings. And then my subscribers can vote on which one they like the best. So the winner will get a permanent... Either, well, they will have one of two options. They will either get a permanent spot on that server to come play with me and my friends whenever they feel like it. Or if they... Uh, if you have Skype or something, or if you have a YouTube account, I will make a video with you and, you know, promote your channel if that's what you're looking for. So that's the deal with the competition. Let me know what you guys think of it. Happy birthday. Whoops. Hold on. Doc. from JCSB happy face so there you go doc now it is officially your birthday cake and I won't eat it it can stay here <laughs> so yeah that's the deal with the competition uh, luckily we completed the achievement which was kinda cool so all that's left is to make a minecart track and I need to do that a lot of people have asked me but let me tell you about the minecart track deal 
I want to make a minecart track to my next base. When I go and build a new base, that's where I want to use the track. So I'm going to hold off till then, you guys. We got the cake, and what's left is to fly a pig off a cliff. Now, I think he means just jump. I'm not sure how I'm going to fly the pig, but I think we all know what he means. So I do have a saddle, luckily. That's uh, actually a really awesome part. I think I have a saddle. Uh, where would it be? Friendly mob? Yep, saddle. So, we do have a saddle. So, it is possible to achieve that achievement. Can you achieve it, an achievement? Does that make sense? Yeah, so... Uh, I just wanted to thank you guys for 280 subscribers. Like I had said, I had reached that. Pretty amazing. I uh, didn't expect when I started this series that I would ever be, you know, that popular I guess I mean I don't find myself too popular I just feel like an average person making YouTube videos but you know it's awesome that I'm getting this much support from you guys okay so buckets go buy plants And it is getting nighttime. Now, I would go out and fight some monsters for you guys, but unfortunately, I've lit up the entire surface. So, you know, no monsters should be spawning. Let's go see if we can find a pig that is on top of a hill. That'd be pretty convenient. Oh, I want to do something real quick, actually. Just give me a second. All right, we got a fishing rod, and I'm going to go have some fun with this thing. Now let me show you guys the uh, like how to have fun with a fishing rod. I learned this from Paul Soares Jr. Back when the only series he had was the How to Survive and Thrive tutorial series. He built a small mob trap. Like you had to sit in it and attract mobs and then they would drown and you would collect their loot. Now the way you attract the mobs was by... Uh, catching them with this fishing rod and it is extremely fun to do so with my luck there's no animals around lucky me so hopefully we can find one it's like it might not look exciting on the screen here but trust me this is so much fun and we're also looking for a piggy that's conveniently up on a hill and I'm gonna get no luck and I wonder why I mean I need luck when I'm Doing a YouTube video, and of course, <gasps> egg got sidetracked, but I found an egg. Thank you. Whoa, wool, woof. No, I put my bones away. I want to ride you. I wish I could ride you. Oh, I know what I can do. Oh, shoot. Uh oh, are there more around? I don't want to get attacked. Oh, no. I didn't think catching him with a fishing rod would hurt him. What, what was the deal with that? Man, I want to find a pig up on a hill. Dang it. Alright, so next thing I want to talk to you guys about is my next base. Now, a lot of you seem to like the idea that every 10, 15, or 20 episodes or something, I would move to a new area. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Here, I guess now I can demonstrate. Oops. Dang it. Oh, I was going to demonstrate how to catch an egg, but another fail. But anyways, so that's what I'm going to do. From now on, I'm going to be moving to new bases every, you know, 10 or 20 episodes. That way it keeps it interesting. I'm not just at the same house for a while. I don't know exactly how many episodes I've been at this base, but I really love this base. So, you know, I don't mind being here a while. Come here, chicken. Come on. Come here. I'm going to demonstrate how to catch an egg with you. No. Get over here, you bad chicken. You don't listen. You know what? You're grounded. Come here. Now, I don't want to smack him with a shovel. I just want to dig under him. Stand still. Do you not hear me talking to you? Dang it. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I cannot show you an example. Alright, well, that's all the time I have for you guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you later. Peace.